And welcome back to what could be the final game of the LEC in 2021. Mad Lions sitting two and one, looking for their first ever consecutive title. And I will say, what I just saw, we can see them on the stage now, but Armut, as he goes down this ramp, is going to be waving at Fnatic and smiling at them multiple times, kind of taunting them. It was so funny to see. <laughs> Wait, this Better's 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 no, they haven't seen that. That's around the corner. They do not I know just going to spot them here, I think, now. And they should get out. So, the question is, does Kazi need to invest into his E here? Knockup misses. Kazi will be able to walk away from this one. If you have to take E level 1 on the Ezreal, it removes a lot of your lane dominance. It's a range matchups, but typically you'll see things like the Corrupting Potion, especially against... Oh, damage there. Whippo. He's now working his way up towards the top side, and that means Mad Lions be going in the bottom. Upset's going to get caught out. Flash in, jump in from Ka Kazi. So they look to put the damage down. Ignite still available for Hillesang. Flash stun. Clint's coming out, and now Fnatic invests the TP down towards the bottom side. Kaiser the first target. Kazi going to try and get away. Doesn't have the flash, but does have the heal. Niski here to join the fray. Flawless duet. Flawless stun. First blood Fnatic. Oh, so much fighting on both these side lanes, and great mechanical execution from both sides. Adam and Whipper were forced to flash away on the top side. Niski and Upset were flashed forced to flash to make sure they get this kill in bot. A lot of summoners blown. Whippo will be all right here. But I think the most important thing here is just when we look at the replay, how well Upset uses his cleanse. Hang on. TP on the top. Yeah, they're going to match it. Whippo can come up, of course, but he doesn't have the flash. Adam, the first target is Armut dives underneath the tower. Armut taking the tower. He's tanking it, though. Armut is going to die. One for one trade in the top lane. Oh, but Kaiser with the roam. They could look to dive Adam. No yeah, flash. flash. No flash for Adam. Hex flash across the wall. Kaiser going in with the Zenith Blade and Adam looking for some sort of semblance of hope in this fight. He gets the pullback, he gets the shield as well. Kaiser ticking away, but he manages to survive. Elioria possesses Adam. That battle won't be in range to catch out Kaiser, and this is a plate in the mid lane for Mad Lions. He's forced to play Playing on the safe. weak side, but I think he's going to get dives. dived anyway. He's going to get dived anyway. He realizes it's going to come. He just knows. Adam trying to get underneath the tower, but the Dominus has popped. There's the root. The root's predator stun is available as well. Armut will use it, and Adam will go down. You know, Armut and Humanoid both went out on the side lanes, so Fnatic need to leverage their bot advantage to carry the map. And you're here, though, in the right position, the right time. Kaiser going in with the Zenith Blade, looking for the stun here onto Upset. No level 6 yet, an Upset down before he can even do much. Whippo here a little bit too late. But Armut Elyoria. is moving again. We thought that Humanoid was the roaming mastermind. It turns out it was Armut all along. What a story for Armut as well. Went from beating Mad Lions in planes last year to carrying Mad Lions perhaps to their second LEC title. Now Niski here looking for the fight, looking for the frame, and knocked back onto Armut. They're looking for the damage onto that next, and the Ignite goes down. Vanguard's Edge coming out as well. Armut heals up. Hillisang able to escape. Elioya will not let him get away. Elioya gets one dive oh, back onto Niski. He steals Rakan, perhaps he steals the hopes away from Fnatic. Oh, the man. jungle movement around the maps, the roams from Armut. We talked about how this was going to be Ooh, a very Kaiser. skirmish focus game, and we see another skirmish. There's no body slam for Whippo here. Kaiser's going to try and walk away. Upset on the chase Kaiser's as well, but not yet got level 6. Heal available for Kazi, as you say. There it is. Oh. Zenith Blade going back in. Kaiser looked for it, but couldn't quite find it. Get out. And oh my word, El Yoya. Perhaps Niski. not the flashiest player, but very good. Niski is just trying to rotate around his own jungle. Fortis Duet coming out, but he's stunned. He's rooted, and he is almost down. Flashes away. Humanoid with a flash chase. Jumps in with a distortion. And that's another kill over to Mad Lions. 7 to 4 in their favor. Humanoid trying to dodge around. Whippo there as well. Across the other side of the wall. And there goes Humanoid. Fnatic able to answer with See, one. Kaiser oh. going to start to back away. Kazi does still have the flash. Body slam flash, a possibility. Kai's, Kazi's going to jump underneath the tower here. Only one minion left. But the Solar Flare will connect. And now Fnatic underneath the tower. Look for Kaiser. Knock back with the explosive cast. Won't be enough, but they do get one kill. Bit of a Even at MSI, was battling some of the best in the world. And here he continues to show why Mad Lions have put so much stake into him. Yeah, Fnatic are really, really behind right now. They have no pressure points on the map. Upset might be in trouble. Better Storm, Blade Caller is available. Looking for the root, but Elioya able to dash away. Yeah, they're able to push in mid. They just took top tower. Now they're forcing bot tower. Fnatic trying to respond. Here comes Niski. Double TP with help being used as well, but Elioya doesn't really have anywhere to go. Has to flash across the wall. Here's the quickness. Flash Ooh. away by Hillisang. They catch onto Elioya, but the Vanguard's edge goes wide. Elioya still alive. Armor diving onto Vakan as he will kill off Hillisang. The Rift Hell charges in the tower, almost dead. He was tanking it up. Adam on the back line is going to be able to take out one as Mad Lions look for a 4v4. Upset low. No 
prevent the storm on him. Remember, Adam gonna get rooted up. Still, explosive cards coming out as Humanoid's fourth back. Kazi still putting the damage down. And it looks like that's gonna be it for this fight in the bottom lane. The charm kind of pulled Elioya up while Niski missed his ult because of it. Recalls. Whippo trying to stop the recalls, like you said, trying to buy some time here. In the playoffs of the LEC, taking down every single team. And the last opposition. Oh, Big pick. Body slam. Kazi able to jump away and Ooh. gets across the wall. Does burn both his summoners for that. But for oh. now, he doesn't have that much stun reduction, so the CC layerings will be very difficult for Fnatic to manage. He doesn't know. Stun comes out for his duet, but here's the rest of Mad Lines. They're all on the chase. The Solar Flare lands on him. And Niski is killed off. Right, mid, let's see if Helisan can find a pick. Wait, there's no flash, remember, on Kazi. There's the pick that they were looking for. Kazi trying to get away, but just can't do it. Upset manages to pick up the kill, and now Mad Lions are on the chase. Heartbreaker coming out, Featherstorm used. TP was cancelled, TP was cancelled. Zenith played onto Upset, spells his doom. And now Hillisang's running on the wrong side of the map. Armor trading with Adam in the top side. Adam trying to heal himself, but remember, the Ruthless Predator can go through the shield. The flash expended by Armor to get him away. Hillisang still being chased here by the Mad Lions. Humanoid be able to lock him down. Yeah, he's gonna get tagged. Team can jump forwards here, so Hillisang is as good as dead. But you can see the power of the Renekton, uh, the power of the Mordecai into the Renekton. Sorry, he's so far behind, almost wins the one we want to force him to flash away. It's a long, slow chase down here. There's a world where Mad Lions could leave him alive for a little bit and look to force a Baron all of Mad Lions in base for now. But no, they're just gonna kill him off. This Super series is slipping further and further away from Fnatic. The confidence is continuing to build for Mad. Here's Kaiser. Whipper goes on to Kaiser, but that's not the target you want. The Aftershock coming out, and there's a TP immediately from Mad Lions. They are looking to take this fight. Adam working his way down, but he doesn't have a TP of his own. Humanoid's gonna land the chains onto Niski. Does pop the damage reduction, but just can't get away. The flash away. Meanwhile, Armor going in. He's charmed up by Hillisang. Niski's down on towards the bottom side of the fight. Adam still not with this team. Armor coming in once again. The Feather Storm coming out from Upset as he looks to pull back the feathers, but he just can't get the damage down. The root hits. Humanoid. Elioia going in, Humanoid onto the back line, no one up sets down, and Mad Lions have won the fight, Adam, they're too late. Whipper pops the stopwatch, but that's the only gold he'll be seeing today, as he is set for a silver medal. Adam cleaned up, Mad Lions clean house, and they are looking for their second title. Oh, Humanoid, he's just toying with Hillisang. He's as far as possible, Humanoid kills Adam. And in the side lane, Humanoid causes death. Solar Flare coming out. Elio looking for the trade here onto Whippo. Can go back in. The Harrod Path doing a lot of work. Whippo trying to stand forward, trying to stand tall for Fnatic. Perhaps the last chance they have of any hope in this game, any hope in this series. Armor caught out with the Dominus. He heals up just so darn much. Vanguard's Edge used as well, but Armored is still alive. He's so taking. Blade Caller coming back. Hillisang down. Armored survives. Whippo does not. Fnatic do not. Mad Lions clean them up. Five for nil. And they are looking for the base. the mid lane, Mad Lion stepping in, looking for the final fight. Humanoid jumps in, Adam, oh! the chains connect, and Adam has to go back to base. That was sick. Well, they've got one on their team, so perhaps he can be the difference maker for them in this game. It's a long shot. It's one of the longest shots I think I've ever seen, but we have seen. From planes to champions, Mad Lions showed us in spring just how strong they can be, and Fnatic are looking for the fight. Hillisang jumping onto the back line, Niski with a good flank position. It's a 3 They're 5 ending. in favor of Mad, but they are ending the game. Kazi already taken one. Fnatic with five members strong, cannot even beat Kaiser, Kazi, and Armut. Kaiser, the king, shows Fnatic how it's done. Mad Lions looking for the win as they focus down the ne Nexus. Domestically undefeated, dominant, and destructive. 2021 has been the year of Mad Lions. Long live the Lion Kings! An incredible year so far for the Mad Lions. Their second year in the LEC. Last year, this was just Humanoid and four rookies. Now they are back-to-back -back LEC champions of 2021, and it feels like that as the year has gone on, they have only gotten better. This team is incredible, and they are going to represent Europe well at the World Championship. Last year, we had Mad and Rogue fighting for the title. Last split, sorry, we had Mad and Rogue fighting for the title. This split, it just looks like Mad Lions are just a cut above everyone, even a massive cut at this point. El Yoya especially, from EU Masters to back-to-back -back LEC champion. Armut has two to his name, everyone has two to their names now. The development has been unreal. And as Kazi points towards his prize, the Mad Lions, a pride of League of Legends superstars. Europe for the second time in a row, Mad Lions.
Legends are your champions! more to say than deserved victors. Mad Lions through what was a turbulent summer season for them. From quarantine to burnout with MSI, they continued to fight and fight and fight. And just as Mac promised, it came to playoffs and they were a cut above. They were just too good for everyone else. On his shoulders, he performs. And he said it multiple times. I think Mad Lions have said it. When there's no real pressure in the game, there's no much stakes. Performance is low, but when it's high, the stakes are really high. Humanoid, especially in this series, was unreal.